I grabbed two of these wooden crates from Dollar Tree and then using some Dollar Tree adhesive glue with a mixture of hot glue to hold both of these together. And after I applied the glue, I did just use some of these clips just to make sure that they glue nice and even. And while those glues are drying, I grabbed these wooden spatulas or spoons, also from Dollar Tree. I will be using Waverly chalk paint in the color Moss. And I just gave these two good coats. You wanna just dry the first coat before going on to the second coat and then allow everything to dry. Then I'm using this 12 inch wooden dowel. I grabbed mine from a package on Amazon. Again, painting that with Waverly chalk paint in the color Moss. And then go ahead and put that aside and let's grab those wooden crates. And using that same color chalk paint, I'm just painting these inside and out as well. Now you do not have to use this color. You could use any color that you would like. This was just my preference. And once I applied two coats on these wooden boxes, I just allowed everything to dry. I then am grabbing those wooden spoons and again, using that Dollar Tree adhesive glue with a mixture of hot glue, I just place those glues on the bottom of the spoon and then just place that inside of both of those boxes. And then the handle did have a hole, so that was perfect to place the dowel right inside. I just applied a little bit of hot glue and then just placed that right in. Then I am using this Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the color Linen White. And all I'm doing is a dry brush method all throughout. So you just wanna make sure you have a small amount of chalk paint on your brush and then just go over the surface with some light brush strokes. And then to make this look just a little bit weathered and rustic, I did end up finishing this up with some Waverly Antique Wax. Again, just putting a small amount on my paintbrush and then with just some light brush strokes, I just went all throughout the surface. You then could just fill this up with whatever you want. I just placed in some terracotta pots, filled those up with some Spanish moss and then some faux flowers that I got from Dollar Tree as well. And there you go, guys. Now you just created this adorable wooden basket. Great for springtime, or again, you could interchange it for any holiday or occasion. I hope this inspires you guys to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much, and I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.